we now have bagged some of the biggest black holes ever recorded in the history of science that have gobbled up over 20 billion stars. Some now believe that at the heart of a black hole lies a tunnel through space-time, a wormhole. The James Webb Space Telescope just did the unthinkable. It looked inside a black hole and saw something we were never supposed to see. Not theory, not a simulation. Real data from beyond the event horizon. What it captured has stunned physicists, bent the rules of space and time, and may finally prove that black holes aren't just cosmic graves. They might be gateways. And now, Michio Kaku theories are here to break it all down. If this discovery is what we think it is, it doesn't just change black holes. It changes everything we know about the universe itself. The day the James Webb Telescope looked into the abyss. For over a century, black holes were the ultimate mystery in space. Giant, invisible objects that swallowed everything, even light. We knew they existed. We had seen stars vanish near them. We had even taken a blurry photo of one. But we had never seen inside one until now. That changed the moment the James Webb Space Telescope turned its infrared eyes toward the center of a supermassive black hole. The target, a region in a distant galaxy, 55 million light years away. At first, the telescope picked up what scientists expected, swirling gas, extreme heat, the familiar glow from matter falling in. But then, something changed. Buried in the telescope's data was something new, light bending the wrong way, ripples in space itself, and most shocking of all, a pulse, not just radiation, a pattern, a signal that repeated just once before disappearing. The team wasn't sure what they were looking at. They checked for errors, ran simulations, compared with past data. But the results were clear. The web had caught something from the edge of the event horizon, the point where light usually gets trapped forever. This wasn't a simulation or a theory. This was real, and it was the closest humanity had ever gotten to seeing inside a black hole. To be clear, the telescope didn't see the center, no camera can, but it saw something we thought was impossible, structure. Instead of a flat black hole, it revealed layers, a swirling boundary that wasn't just pulling matter in, but twisting it, stretching it, even bending the direction of time. And the signal? It wasn't a message, not in any language. It was something simpler, a pattern of light that flickered as it passed the event horizon, like a heartbeat. One beat, one moment, gone. Scientists still don't know exactly what it means, but what they do know is this. We saw something from inside a black hole, not just shadows, not guesses, actual physical data, proof that the edge of these monsters is more complicated, more alive than we ever imagined. And this is just the beginning. A century of waiting ends. The journey to this moment didn't happen overnight. It started way back in 1916, when Albert Einstein published his theory of general relativity. It was complex, mathematical, and full of wild ideas. One of them? That space could collapse on itself so tightly that it would trap everything, including light. He didn't call them black holes. That name came much later. In fact, back then, most scientists didn't believe they were real. They thought Einstein's theory was interesting, but too strange to be true. That changed in the 1960s when astronomers studying the Cygnus constellation found something odd. A bright blue star seemed to be dancing around. Nothing. But this nothing was pulling matter off the star. And that matter gave off X-rays, a kind of energy only created by extreme forces. Whatever the star was orbiting was invisible, incredibly massive, and consuming everything nearby. It had to be a black hole. They called it Cygnus X-1, and it was the first real proof that black holes weren't just theory. They were out there. Over the next few decades, more and more black holes were discovered. Not just big ones, but supermassive ones at the centers of galaxies. Some weighed millions, even billions, of times more than our sun. In 2019, scientists released the first photo of a black hole. Well, not the black hole itself, but the glowing ring of gas and dust around it. It was fuzzy, but it was enough to confirm what many had believed for years. 
These things were real, and they were everywhere. But even with all our progress, we still couldn't answer the biggest question. What's inside? That's where the James Webb Space Telescope came in. It's the most powerful space telescope ever built. And in 2025, it did something no one thought possible. It didn't just look at a black hole. It looked through it, catching the bending of light, the twisting of space, and maybe, just maybe, a hint of what's on the other side. It's the result of over a hundred years of questions, from Einstein's chalkboard to deep space photos, from doubt to discovery. And now, for the first time, we're not just looking at black holes, we're starting to understand them. What Webb saw, the three-layered monster. When people think of black holes, they imagine a giant black hole in space sucking everything in. But what James Webb saw was far stranger and way more complex. Let's break it down. Black holes aren't just empty pits, they have structure. And Webb's detailed readings confirmed something scientists had long suspected, but never seen so clearly before. Black holes have layers. The first layer is the event horizon. This is the point where light literally can't escape. If anything crosses this line, it's gone. Not just objects, not just light. Time and space themselves collapse beyond this boundary. The second layer is called the photon sphere. This is the zone where light doesn't fall in right away. It orbits. Imagine light stuck in a loop, circling the black hole like water spinning down a drain. Webb's instruments saw distortions here that didn't match any known pattern. Something inside was affecting the light from the outside. And then there's the core, the singularity. This is where everything that falls in gets crushed into a point smaller than an atom. No rules, no physics, just infinite pressure. Webb didn't capture this directly, but it captured something close. A gravitational ripple moving faster than expected, with no visible cause. It's as if the black hole was reacting to something, shifting, changing, alive in a way we didn't understand. Some scientists think what Webb saw wasn't just gas falling in. It might have captured a black hole feeding in real time, matter stretching, twisting, and vanishing right before our eyes. And inside those twists of energy, <laughs> patterns. Too fast to be natural, too specific to be random. One thing's certain, these aren't just black pits. They're machines built by nature, powered by gravity, and wrapped in layers we're just starting to peel back. Spaghettification, now in high definition. You've probably heard the term spaghettification, the idea that if you fell into a black hole, your body would get stretched like spaghetti. It's funny until you realize it's horrifying. And now, for the first time, we've seen it happen. Using its incredible sensors, the James Webb Telescope recorded what appears to be a neutron star fragment falling into a black hole. What started as a sphere of matter quickly stretched out into a long, thin strand, just like physicists predicted. Here's what's happening. As the object moves closer to the black hole, the gravity pulling on the front is way stronger than the gravity pulling on the back. That difference causes the object to stretch, longer and thinner, until it rips apart completely. Webb captured that moment, frame by frame, the stretch, the tear, the flicker of light, and then silence, nothing. But that's not all. The telescope also detected something even stranger, time slowing down. From our perspective, as the matter got closer to the event horizon, it moved slower and slower until it almost stopped. It's a trick of gravity. Near a black hole, time bends. From the outside, it looks like the object freezes in place. But from its own point of view, it falls straight in. It's like watching reality glitch in slow motion. Even more bizarre, Webb picked up what scientists are calling gravitational echoes. These are ripples in space itself that bounce back from the edge of the black hole. They're faint, but they're there. And they match no known pattern. No star, no planet, no galaxy does this. We are watching space move in a way it's never moved before, and for the first time, we have the footage to prove it. Are we looking at a wormhole? What if black holes aren't just ends? What if they're openings? For years, scientists have wondered whether a black hole could be a wormhole, a tunnel through space and time. The idea was theoretical, a maybe, a what if. Until now, 
Webb's sensors recorded something almost no one expected. Light exiting near the black hole. Not entering, not reflecting, exiting. That shouldn't be possible. Once light falls in, it's gone. So, where did it come from? Some researchers believe Webb may have caught a Kerr black hole, a special type that spins. According to theory, if a black hole spins fast enough, it doesn't collapse into a point. It stretches into a ring, a kind of cosmic doorway. Inside that ring, a possible path through space. The math has always suggested this was possible, but no one had seen anything like it. Until Webb. In one set of images, a burst of high-energy light appeared, flickered across a field of gas, and vanished. But when scientists traced the path of that light, it didn't match any known source. It came from the other side of the black hole. Could it have been bent? Reflected? Maybe. Or maybe it came from somewhere else entirely. The implications are huge. If even a small part of a black hole works like a wormhole, it means there might be a way to travel, not just across space, but possibly across time. Not today, not with current tech. But it means the laws of physics don't stop us. They allow it. And that opens up an entirely new question. What's on the other side? The hologram hypothesis intensifies. What if black holes aren't what they seem? What if they're not objects, but illusions? Three-dimensional shapes made from two-dimensional information. Sounds wild. But it's a serious theory called the holographic principle. And recent data from the James Webb Telescope has added fuel to that fire. Here's the idea. Everything we think is inside a black hole, the singularity, the spinning gas, the warped space, is actually a projection, kind of like a hologram. All the information might actually live on the black hole's surface, not inside it. This isn't just science fiction. A physicist named Enrico Rinaldi has been working with something called quantum matrix models, complex math that tries to connect gravity and quantum physics. Using those tools, he and his team found that black holes behave just like holograms in certain calculations. And now, Webb's readings match that math. Specifically, the telescope saw patterns in the radiation around the black hole, patterns that echoed what should be happening inside. But instead of coming from within, they came from the outside shell. Imagine you're watching a movie on a screen. You see depth, shape, movement, but it's just light on a surface. That might be how black holes work. What we think is happening deep inside may actually be a surface effect, like a cosmic illusion. This could change everything. If black holes are holograms, then the true laws of the universe might live on their edges, not in their centers. And if that's true, then maybe the rest of the universe works the same way. Are we inside a cosmic hologram too? A symphony of strings and a doorway. Black holes don't just pull in matter, they twist space itself. They affect time, light, and maybe even the foundations of reality. To explain this, we need a deeper theory. That's where string theory comes in. String theory says that everything in the universe, from light to gravity to you and me, is made from tiny vibrating strings. These strings don't just vibrate in the world we see, they vibrate in 10 dimensions. And black holes? They're what happen when those strings go to their absolute limits. Here's where it gets interesting. When the James Webb Telescope zoomed in on the black hole, it picked up strange vibrations, high frequency pulses of energy that didn't match anything else in space. Some scientists believe these are the signatures of strings vibrating across dimensions we can't see. If that's true, then black holes might not be just massive objects. They could be tunnels into higher dimensional space. Think of them as the notes in a cosmic symphony, playing in keys we've never heard before. And what lies on the other side? According to some versions of string theory, our universe could be inside one. We might have been born from a black hole in another universe like a cosmic baby pulled through an interdimensional tunnel. It's not just theory anymore. The patterns Webb captured might be the first observational hint that this is real, that black holes connect places, not just in space, but across reality itself. What happens now? So now that we've seen inside a black hole, now that the James Webb Space Telescope has delivered data no one thought possible, what's next? First, the entire scientific community is in a frenzy. Researchers across the world are analyzing Webb's data, frame by frame. Some are calling it the biggest breakthrough in physics since the discovery of the Higgs boson. Others say it's the first step toward a theory of everything, the holy grail of science. 
But not everyone's talking. Rumors are swirling that NASA and ESA are holding back some of the data. Internal documents hint at more shocking discoveries not yet released. Why? Maybe they're still verifying. Or maybe it's bigger than we realize. And then there's the question we all want answered. Are we in danger? Right now, the closest known black hole is 1,500 light years away. That's not close enough to worry about. But Webb's data shows that black holes move. Some are growing, some are merging. The universe is changing, and black holes may be shaping its future. But perhaps the most chilling idea comes from Michio Kaku himself. What if we've been inside a black hole this whole time? What if our universe started not with a bang, but with a collapse? A doorway from another world. With Webb, we've opened that door, just a crack, and beyond it, a cosmos more mysterious and more connected than we ever dreamed. So, what did we just witness? For the first time in human history, we've peered inside a black hole, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. We've seen light twist, matter stretch, and maybe, just maybe, a glimpse of another universe. From Einstein's equations to Michio Kaku's theories, this moment marks a turning point in our understanding of space, time, and what reality really is. And this is just the beginning. If you want to stay on the edge of discoveries like this, subscribe now. Hit the like button, share this video, and join us as we explore the impossible.